Upwind speed has a lot to do with something called boat balance. A balanced boat is a boat that is being sailed flat. The problem with an unbalanced boat is that you'll struggle to stay in the Goldilocks zone and that struggle will slow you down. So preventing a capsize isn't the only reason for hiking out to keep the boat flat. An unflat boat will always want to turn when you want to be sailing straight. In the diagram we're looking at three boats from behind. The first boat is flat, it's uh, level with the water surface. The second boat is heeled to windward and the third is heeled to leeward. You don't actually need a rudder to steer and whenever possible you should actually use your body weight rather than the rudder as using the rudder creates more drag. But to get back to the point in hand, if you're sailing flat, the boat will go straight, as you see in the diagram below the flat boat. But if the boat heels to, to windward, like in the second diagram, the boat will want to steer away from the wind, it will, it will want to bear away. And conversely, if the boat is heeled to leeward, the boat will start turning towards the wind. This is why it's important to hike in strong winds. If you don't keep the boat flat, it will heel to leeward and steer up into the no-go zone. To counteract it, you'll have to use a lot of rudder and this will create unnecessary drag. So if strong winds cause the boat to heel and heeling is detrimental to our boat speed, we need to find a way to stop that heeling. Now sometimes we'll be able to use our body weight to do this, but above a certain wind strength we'll find that uh, we can't do it using body weight alone. We have to take some of the power out of the sail. We have to reduce power in order to go faster. So to know how to depower it's uh, helpful for us to first know what gives the sail power. This is something sailors call camber which basically means how curved the sail is. In the diagram we see that sail 1 has more curve in it than sail 2. It has more camber and therefore it will generate more power. Now power is good but not all the time. Above a certain wind strength we're going to need to get rid of some of that power. This is your wind range with 5 knots on the left going all the way up to the maximum speed most dinghy sailors sail in, which is 30 knots. Around 5 knots is the minimum wind speed most professional race officers are going to race you in. Around 13 knots is the changeover zone for most boats when you go from wanting more power to wanting less power. From 5 to 13 knots we aren't overpowered so we want the cambered sail. And above 13 knots, we want to start flattening our sails. So how do we do this? Depending on the class of boat, we use controls such as the kicker, backstay, outall, or Cunningham. If you're unsure what to use for your class of boat, then just Google tuning guide and then your class of boat. So we've learned how to depower the sail. But the wind strength is constantly changing. We have increases in wind, gusts, and decreases in wind, lulls. Does this mean we need to keep adjusting our sail controls? Yes and no. There are just too many controls to be constantly adjusting all of them. So what I recommend is finding your most effective depowering control and playing that to the gusts and just setting up all the other depowering controls for the low wind speed. Once we have most of our controls set for the low wind strength, we can just focus on depowering in those gusts. So to do this, one of the most effective ways is to just steer higher. Steering closer to the no-go zone helps us depower because as we know, the closer to the wind we get, the slower we go. Steering up changes the angle of our sail to the wind, but there, there's another way we can do this. We can actually ease our main sheets, which will have the same effect, and it will depower us. So easing our main sheets is another way we can depower the sail. So in gusts, we can ease the main sheet 
and or steer closer to the wind and if we still can't hike the boat flat we can use our main depowering control which on many classes is going to be the kicker.